number four or something. Caught my joke. Friday night in Belfast, an incident occurred in which two Belfast Giants players engaged in an outstanding act of dancing. Despite prior warnings by event stewards, the pair tore up the carpet in Sweet 24 with sickening moves to the best song ever, insisting things were perfect and that it's the dancing that makes you beautiful. Having reviewed all the angles available and supplementary evidence provided by the club, the Department of Giant Safety understands that you have to live while you're young and accordingly has decided to award a 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10 and 8 out of 10 to these players. Good evening, welcome to the Giants pre-game show powered by Cyril Johnson. My name is Simon Kitchen, I'm joined as always by Shane Johnson and we're just going to have a chat about the games from last weekend against Coventry and we'll touch on the Sheffield Steelers doubleheader this weekend. Shane, 6-3 win in Belfast and then a 5-2 win in uh, Coventry last Sunday evening and um, overall four point weekend, definitely a good start. Yeah, I mean two comfortable wins for the Giants, they're starting to play uh, the style that, that Derek wants or wants them to play, that their um, more lines are clicking now, so uh, things are going well for the Giants. Mike Roger, five goals last weekend and uh, it's definitely started the, the year and a good start. Yeah, Raj has been uh, you know solid all year for the Giants. You know, leading scorer uh, as you talked about uh, before. Um, you know, he's a guy that the Giants are going to count on going down the stretch to continue to put in goals. Brian Stewart uh, was sort of put under a little bit of um, heckling pressure last weekend by Boomerang yeah. Corner, um, and I think it, he carried it over. To, it looked as if he carried it over till the Sunday evening as well. But uh, it certainly looks as if it got him off his game. Yeah, the guys in the Boomerang Corner were, were great last game. It's good to see that, uh, that atmosphere being created by them, and uh, hopefully they'll, they'll think of something fun for tonight. Two massive games this weekend. Uh, Sheffield State is rolling town this evening, and uh, hopefully it's only going to go in one direction. So, sorry, we're not allowed to talk about that. Right. Hopefully, you know, it's <laughs> going to be a good weekend of hockey, and the Giants come out on top. But how do you see things going this weekend? Yeah, they're going to be hard-fought games. Uh, you know, both teams feel like they have a legitimate shot at, at winning the title. Uh, both teams are, uh, are are looking at these games as potential title deciders. Um, so I would expect both teams uh, to be um, going for it both nights. Derek Walzer, as, as I say, but the systems have watched out of the practice this week as well. And all the guys seem certainly up for it. Have you been down in between the guys this week, the last couple of days? Yeah, I mean, the players are really very aware of, of, of who they're playing this weekend and, and what it, it could mean to uh, um, the end result at the end of the season. So, um, yeah, they're, they're fired up for these games. Shane, thanks very much. If you want to get in contact with us this evening, you can do so on Twitter. You can get myself, Kitchy16. You can get Shane at Shane4Johnson. And you can get the production crew at Belfast Giants TV. Shane, you've got a question tonight for uh, a possible free webcast pass for tomorrow evening? Yeah, a question for tonight is, how many players have played for both the Sheffield Steelers and the Belfast Giants? Okay, so they just have to tweet the number? The number. Okay, so tweet the number to Belfast Giants TV, and the first person to tweet the correct number will get a free pass for the, web, uh, the webcast tomorrow evening. Thanks for joining us on the Giants pregame show, powered by Cyril Johnson. Enjoy the game.